What's going on everybody? Welcome to and welcome back to another Photoshop retouching tutorial. I am photographer Chris Cavanaugh and in today's video we're going to be getting into a male skin retouch. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I like to do when Photoshop, in Photoshop I like to analyze the photo. I like to go from the top all the way down to the bottom especially on the main focal point of what the viewer will be seeing which is his face and kind of you know see what and how I would like to go through the retouching process. I know that looking from the hair I want to clean up the surrounding areas of it. I know that looking at his skin it's a little bit different in coloration so I would like to dodge and burn and get that into a more consistent tone and then as I go down just working on you know pigmentation and uh, skin blemishes and you know just hair removal so let's get right into it. All right, so what I'm going to do is zoom in. I'm going to go in with the clone stamp tool. And I'm going to start lightly brushing around those areas that are surrounding to just clean it up and it will give it an overall better look and feel. So today I am using a Wacom pen tablet. So if you hear a little bit of sketching, that is what that is. I love using this simply because of the accuracy when in Photoshop and being able to do these little uh, tedious processes, you know, to get a great image. It helps to be more precise. And I'll just keep repeating this process until we are done and it looks more cohesive and clean. All right, so I'll give you guys a quick before and after of the hair. All right, so the next process I want to go into is zooming in a little bit and removing some of the skin blemishes around the face. So I'm gonna work my way from the top all the way down to the bottom and just repeat the process. And you don't have to go pretty crazy, you know, on retouching and trying to remove everything, but you just want to make sure you're getting a clean base to the image so that when you take it into other methods, like frequency separation or Gaussian blur, you have a better surface area to work with. I'm going to go right back in with that clone stamp tool. All right, and I'm just going to keep repeating that process. I'm going to set my clone stamp at a light opacity and kind of try to shape up the eyebrows a little bit just clean around them and if you want to find more videos like this you can head over to my patreon patreon.com slash Chris Photo Studios along with my TikTok and Instagram where I post a lot of the behind the scenes portions of how I achieve these specific looks when it regards to lighting. So that's the Chris Cavanaugh. You can find that in the bio T H E C H R I S C A V A N A U G H.
and we could keep that the mole right here but for my creative direction I would like to kind of remove it and then I'm going to just repeat that process with a light clone stamp so you're going to go to your clone stamp tool you're going to go over to let's see where are we actually here we, oh sorry there we go we're going to go over to the normals and I want to move this up to light so when I start to select around the skin it's going to lightly start brushing and cleaning up the dark circles around his eyes and this is not going to be my only method of attack to you know clean that up a little bit but I just want to diminish. Just working our way around areas that we want to clean up and I'll do some of this as well with the dodge and burn And then we'll go right back into the skin selection of cleaning up little blemishes and stray hairs. Alright, so we're getting a lot uh, done on this aspect. And just anything that stands out, you want to remove that is very noticeable. And also, if you hear it clicking, I'm kind of switching back and forth through my computer mouse and also my Wacom Pen tablet. So I'm going to just zoom out a little bit for you guys and show you a little bit of a quick before and after in the process of where we are so far with using steps like clone stamp along with spot heal. So here's a quick before and after. Quick before and after. All right, for this next portion, what I want to do is zoom in a little bit to the skin. I'm going to go over here to the adjustments, click the black and white, and then bring my black and whites over. And what this would do is personify every bit of skin imperfection or things that need to be replaced. I'm going to go down to the background layer, click over into the dodge, and start to lightly brush around those areas that are dark. If it's dark, dodge. If it's light, burn. And you can just repeat this process.
And like I said, for those dark circles, what we're going to do is just go in and repeat that process with this uh, dodge and burn. All right, I'm going to zoom out a little bit for you guys. I'm going to remove the black and white and show you so far of where we are with the quick before and after. There's two little spots on the face that I would like to remove as well. All right, so now where we are, I would like to kind of go into the aspect of using a panel all right so I'm going to use the retouching essentials pack I'm going to go into the advanced frequency separation if you're interested in getting this this is a $30 software I have it on my patreon for every member that signed up you get to download it for only six dollars to subscribe to the patreon and when you do, you get to download this software, a value of $30. It's free. So a $6 investment for a $30 software. I also have other software like this, Retouching Academy. That's about $70 for all my members who are subscribed to it. So definitely head over to my Patreon. It's in the link in the bio. So we're going to go. We're going to click it. We're going to select the Gaussian Blur. I like to go a little bit high so I'll go up to 20 I'll then click OK and start repeating the process of cleaning the skin I will head over to the advanced frequency separation tab in the layers deselect high frequency separation make sure when you go over to the mix brush tool your mix brush patch right here is select to nothing so there we go with the brush and it's going to be uh, sampling all layers that's important so when you go in it will be sampling the layers I like to keep my wets kind of low my load my mix and then I'll change through my flow depending on my pin swipe so let's get into it so I'm just going to start lightly brushing around the face And I'm going to be changing my brush stroke. And as I keep brushing, you'll probably start to see the skin changing in pigmentation and also texture. And I try to keep consistent with the same brush stroke pattern as I retouch as well. Just keep working my way around the image.
All right, so now I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to deselect the high frequency separation and I'm going to show you guys where we are so far. So here is a quick before. Here is a quick after. So we have the advanced frequency separation off and on. And we just did a little to get some great results. Here's a quick before out front and zoomed in a quick before and after. All right, so I'm going to go into the next process and that will be keeping in the essentials pack, but just clicking play and smoothing the skin out. We're going to deselect, select and go right back into the mix brush tool. I'm just going to start brushing lightly around the skin getting in areas where the skin might be a little bit more textured than we would want. Not doing it, overdoing it, but just lightly brushing along different areas. Alright, so here we go. So we're just going to keep moving along this process and cleaning the skin. Here's a quick before and after. Alright, so I'm liking where we are so far. I don't want to overdo it, but I just want to be able to clean the result up that we're getting so far. So we're not finished with this exact portion. So I'm going to go down into the even skin uh, portion and I am going to click play. I'm then after clicking play, I'm going to go and back into my mix brush tool and start repeating the process of just cleaning up bit by bit. All right, there we go. And we're making our way, getting the great result. All righty. So next, what we're going to do is go into turning the image back black and white. We're going to move our blacks all the way back down. And now we can see a little bit more of what we need to do to clean those darker spots up. So we're going to go back to the background layer and start just brushing around. I might want to change my opacity just a little bit, bring it down so that it's not so strong. even if we want to add a little highlight to the, the you know, um, T-zones and kind of, you know, sporadic throughout, we can do that as well. But just keep going around and till we have as less as possible of those dark spots around the image. We can always go around the airs, different portions we want to clean, even around the hair. There we go. Even around the face. Just continuing to do that process. And we're going to deselect. All right, so here's a quick before and after. I'm going to go in with the 
burn tool and then just try to put in a little bit more definition that we took away with other portions. Even when it comes to the nose or the eyes, being that he is of a fairer skin tone, you don't want to take too much texture out. Just lightly brush across. See how we added that definition just now back into the image. And then if we want, we can go right back and when it comes to closer to the mouth and just add that. All right, so I like what we got so far. I am going to go and deselect around this area and I'm going to drag that down to just clean the neck up a little bit. We can go around and kind of grab other areas and loop them around. All right, so now it's coming into the time of color grading. So what I am going to do is zoom out. I'm going to go into my Photoshop actions. If you don't know, I have Photoshop actions available as well on my website. The link is in the bio. We just marked them down from $10 to $5. So go over and check it out. We also have some packages that range from $20 for four actions up to I think it's $40 for 15 actions. So we're going to run this one called Luxury Sand. It's a little too dark for me. So what I am going to then do, being that it's already pre-made, is start going in and checking out, well, deselecting some of the uh, colors to see if we can kind of subtract from some, subtract from some or add to it. I also am going to go over to the curves layer and just brighten the image up a little bit. It's a little dark, so bringing some light into it will definitely help the result. I'll go over to the color balance tool and bring in a little blues along with a little cyans to kind of get away from that reddish, you know, skin tone. And we're already making moves. So here's a quick before, here's a quick after. I'm going to also go into the contrast and bring some contrast in there just a little bit. I'm going to then go to the background layers and I am going to start brushing around a little bit, especially around the eyes to kind of like just brighten up, you know, in these areas, get them a little bit more detailed and open. All right, so I'm getting pretty pleased with the results. I want it to be a little natural, but not overdone. All right, so here we go. I'm also going to add a little bit of noise to this just to kind of add a little bit more, you know, texture and characteristic within it. There we go, and I'll move this to about four just to keep it safe, you know. Mm, let's see, about four, there we go. Not too much. Uh, let's see, that looks pretty good, so we'll okay that. So this is kind of where we are so far. Uh, I just wanted to make it a very quick retouching tutorial um, to try to keep it under, you know, 20, 30 minutes and things like that. But here's a quick before of where we started, and here's a quick after of where we are so far. I hope that you repeat these methods and kind of take it back into your own retouching, you know, endeavors, and it kind of helps you out a little bit more. And you can just, you know, perfect the your methods, and I'll see you right back into the next video. If you want to take a look at more content like this, head over to my Patreon, and then also for different Photoshop actions, def. Oops, sorry, definitely be sure to head over to my website. Everything is in the bio and I'll see you guys back in the next video.